So we are here at Thousand Trails. This is one of the five locations where the Acton Aguadulce Unified School District is um, handing out meals for children in the community under the age of 18 and for those disadvantaged persons who also to all kids. I don't believe that they are checking to see if they are children that are on the list to receive free meals. This is just something that they are doing because of uh, the current COV ID 19 coronavirus situation and they're doing their part in the community to uh, answer the need and provide meals for the children. And that is my understanding that it's for uh, homeschooled kids, all, all the children, not just districts, uh, not just for students that attend the district schools. At least that's my understanding. Um, so every day, um, Monday through Friday, they are distributing me meals at five locations throughout Acton and Agua Dulce. Thousand Trails is one of the areas. The other site is uh, Vincent Hill Station, which we'll go to next and also High Desert Middle School, Acton School, which is now where the district offices are, and uh, Le Chien in Agua Dulce. So every day there's meal stops and um, it's great. I think it's wonderful that the district is doing this for the community and uh, it just shows how communities come together during times of crisis and indeed this is a time that we've never seen before. Most of us have never seen this ever in our lifetime. So this is a something new and unprecedented and, and they are doing their part. So we're here a little early. They are going to be distributing food which uh, looks pretty incredible. I've seen some of the meals posted on social media and they are pretty incredible looking. Fresh vegetables and fruit and sandwiches and snacks and just really nice food. So um, there's a crowd over there gathering waiting for for the food services to arrive from the district. And uh, all of the employees that are helping out and volunteering during this time um, all of the employees volunteering their time during this time when they should be home with their families or they are all um, here uh, as helpers and also they are all part of the district food uh, program anyways they all work at the different food sites and distribute lunches and snacks every day at the schools so they may recognize a lot of the kids coming up for the food and they may not recognize some faces, but like I said, it's just something that they're doing. So we'll wait here and see if the food truck arrives. <laughs> it's not really a food truck, but I'm assuming it's someone's vehicle with lots of food in it. And just as I said that, food truck is arriving. All right. This is my first time observing this, so I'll see how this looks like. So this is great. Okay, so there they are um, handing out food, and they are asking them to keep a little bit of distance between them as they hand out food, which is awesome. Not as many people at this stop. This is, I believe, their last stop of the day. But still, it's great that they're doing this. It's awesome. We're right across the street from the Vincent Hill 
station restaurant and saloon which is of course now closed how are you Have a lot of bus stops and we feed all the kids that are in need. Okay. So and everything's free. And thank you so much for doing this. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Are you um, providing this for all of the kids in the community?